Okay, we're talking about why some of you are still relying on an endocrinologist to give you hope and saving grace for your thyroid condition. I see so many of you in the Facebook groups asking, what endocrinologist should I see? Should I see a different one? This one let me down. Should I see another one? And I'm here to tell you, and Dr. Weston Childs will back me up too, you can't get your answers from an endo. So here's why. Most endos are really, really focused on diabetes. They are great if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. They will put you on metformin. They will give you an insulin pump. They will manage your diabetes. But like I always say, and then I actually heard Dr. Child say the very same thing, which I love, endocrinologists, the endocrine system, the thyroid's part of the endocrine system, they just don't do it. They don't get it. They drop the ball. I've been doing this for 24, maybe 25 years now, and in multiple cities, and I've worked with patients literally across the globe, but many different states in the United States. And I have the names and numbers of two good endocrinologists. So that is two in 50 states, two countries in 24 years. A good PCP or a nurse practitioner will beat an endocrinologist any day of the week. So I am now blessed to have a nurse practitioner as part of my team. She's simply amazing. And I had a conversation with her the other day and I said, why is it? that these doctors, these endos will not do thorough testing. So that's number one. You're not going to get thorough testing seeing an endo. You'll get TSH, and if that TSH is high above the standard lab value range, then you will get treated, and you'll get treated with T4 medication. So you will be stuck on Synthroid, as I like to call it. And she said to me something very interesting. They learn in medical school that if you, you do not run a test unless you can treat for it, unless you know exactly what that test means, and unless there is a medication that you can slap on it as a Band-Aid. So we know TSH, if TSH is elevated, we're going to put you on Synthroid. But what if TSH is normal and free T3 is low? And then what is this thing called reverse T3? We don't know what to do about that and how to treat it. So she actually taught me that the reason why many of your doctors are not running full testing for your thyroid is because they don't know what to do with it when it comes back. So that's part one. Now, when I started on my thyroid journey, I did go to an endocrinologist. This is so many years ago. This is why I'm here in front of you today because of the frustrations that I encountered because you naturally think it's a specialist, specialist, air quotes. And that specialist specializing in the endocrine system should be able to guide you properly with your thyroid condition or diagnose you properly with a possible thyroid condition because the thyroid is part of the endocrine system. And then you might also go to them with hormone issues and hormone questions. Why are my periods long and heavy and I'm getting pain and I have no libido and my hair is falling out? Good luck getting those answered. Unless you have diabetes, you might get the ball dropped on you. Now, I'm not saying that all endos are bad, but this is in general what we are seeing, especially in the thyroid groups, in the patient support groups, in my own practice, patients coming to see me and they are so frustrated and they will bring their labs and I will see TSH and maybe free T4, but I will not see free T3. I will not see reverse T3. And quite often, I don't even see the antibodies tested. So that is part one. Part two is that you have to remember that in general, nurse practitioners are trained outside of the box, and many PCPs are trained outside of the box, or they think outside of the box. So if you were to come to me and see the nurse practitioner that I work with, or we're working with your PCP, chances are that if your numbers are just borderline, but we look at you as a whole person with a whole set of symptoms, then we're going to see, hey, this person has, yeah, that, that TSH is coming in right in the normal range, right in even in the optimal range for functional medicine. Functional medicine, optimal, it's a little bit below two. But hey, this person has a low free T3, they're complaining of weight gain, they're complaining of fatigue, they're losing their hair, they're depressed all the time, their doctors are slapping them on antidepressants and Xanax, and then we're you know gonna give you um, a water pill too because you're retaining water, and we'll give you some birth control because your periods are heavy, and we'll give you some metformin because you have insulin resistance too, and then we'll cross our fingers and wish on a rainbow that you lose weight and that you'll be happy, scoot out the door. 
Now, a good PCP nurse practitioner, they're going to look at you like I look at you as a whole person. What are your symptoms? How did those symptoms pair up? And look, oh, look, we tested for free T3 and that free T3 is low. That totally matches all those symptoms that you're suffering with. Oh, reverse T3 is high and you're on, you're stuck on Synthroid from the last three endos that you saw, three. That T4 is not converting to T3. That's why your reverse T3 is high. That's why you feel like garbage and you're going bald. So you need someone that's going to think outside of that box to fully test you as a whole person, to fully see you as a whole person. And then finally, we go into the medications. So once again, learned in med school, Synthroid, Levo. T4, T4. Now, I have heard it talked about from some of my colleagues that oftentimes the makers of Synthroid will fund the medical schools. And then it's kind of like, you know, this is a conspiracy theory thing, but bear with me, right? Behind the scenes, hey, nudge, nudge, we just gave you a couple billion dollars for your med school. Make sure you're teaching your docs to prescribe Synthroid when they see that TSH get elevated. The makers of leothyronine and cytomel, not so much. Makers of armor, not so much. But Synthroid, nudge, nudge, make sure you tell your docs. So that's what they go through medical school learning. Years and years ago, I gave a talk to the integrative wellness physicians here in Erie at LECOM, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. They have a huge wellness facility outside of the med school itself. They actually have an integrative wellness group of physicians. They are great. They think outside the box. They're fantastic. But I gave a talk to them because I spoke with one of the head docs there. We immediately clicked. He said, come in and talk to my docs because I don't know that they know all this about the thyroid. So my talk to them was, number one, why don't we test all of these tests that are going to give us valuable pieces of information? They're going to give us that picture of the patient, that whole picture of the patient. And then number two, why are you stuck in the Synthroid box? Why is that the only medication that you prescribe? There's so many different meds out there. If you have a patient that walks in with depression medication, if Prozac doesn't work, you'll try Zoloft and then you'll try, you'll add on Abilify and you'll try four or five, 10 different kinds of combinations until you find the one that jives with your patient and that they say, hey, I feel better. But yet when a patient comes in with a thyroid problem and you actually diagnose them, you put them on Synthroid, you're stuck in the Synthroid box. Why? The one doc who is fantastic raises his hand and says, it's all we've learned. Totally appreciated the honesty, but there's your answer, folks. There's your answer. And it's a truthful answer. That's all they've learned. So they have not learned to, hey, maybe we have to look at the, the T3 and maybe we have to treat with T3, even just that little bit, even skipping the middleman. Oh, reverse T3 is high. Maybe we need to lower their Levo, lower their Synthroid and increase a little bit of T3 medication because that's going to lower the reverse and bring up the free. Maybe we try Armor. Maybe we try Naturethroid. Maybe we try NP. Maybe we try Armor with T3. There's so many different ways to properly treat a person. And it really takes a an outside of the box thinker, usually a nurse practitioner or a well-rounded PCP to get to that point. And that's why I work with open-minded, well-rounded, knowledgeable PCPs. That's why I brought a nurse practitioner on board because we think the same. We think outside the box and we want to treat you as a person. So get off the endo roller coaster. Quit crossing your fingers and wishing on a rainbow that you're going to land on the perfect one. Because chances are with two in 24 years, 50 states and two countries, well, three countries if you want to count the U.S. So I got U.K., Australia, and the U.S., There you go. Your chances are pretty slim. You probably should go out and buy a lottery ticket instead. You'd have a better chance of winning the lottery than you do with getting help from an endo. So quit typing in the Facebook groups, my endo didn't do this and didn't do that. And do you have a good endo? And quit answering people to go find a different endo. That's not the answer. The answer is to work with a thyroid specialist who has a nurse practitioner on board or work with a good PCP that thinks outside the box that knows their stuff when it comes to the thyroid. Okay. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps.